Hello Aries, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you are doing well and uh, if you are new to this channel, Aries, my name is Joe and I will be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? As usual, uh, keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general, so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. And the best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it always works. Do feel free to browse my channel. You might want to check some of the previous readings that I have done for your sign. But Aries, more than anything, do check what other signs you have, any other placements. Don't just focus on your sun sign, okay? Do check your moon, rising, and Venus, and then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. For additional messages, you know, you never know, or just in case uh, you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life, sometimes that happens. And it usually means that your messages are just probably coming stronger from those placements. It all depends on your current life path and journey. And last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel and to help it grow. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. All right, Aries? All right, let's get started. Aries, it's time to move on. It's time to leave something behind. It's time to put yourself in the right, on the right track. Uh, some of you are asking yourselves, are if you're already on the right path or on the ra right track of in your life. Um, I can only tell you, just keep moving, okay? Um, keep moving. Keep persevering. Keep going forward. I think there might be some changes you're already starting to see. And if there is change, I would say that yes, you are already on the right path, okay? Because maybe you are already leaving something behind, the old behind, okay? But um, if not, it's time, it's time to do this. Let's continue, we'll figure out what's going on here. All right, Aries, uh, the energy that's uh, crossing, it could be a challenge or blockage, is the Five of Swords. Okay, so yeah, uh, this makes a lot of sense. Five to Six of Swords. You see, you're dealing this in a situation where something just keeps trying to get the best of you. It could be someone that just keeps trying to push your buttons, trying to get a, some type of a reaction from you. And even just to try to hold you back and prevent you from moving on. You're already being called or you're being literally pulled to move forward now and leave this behind. But someone doesn't want you to. Uh, someone doesn't want to see you move on, walk away. And it's, it's, this is challenging you. This is very hard for you. You're meant to drop your swords and say, you know what? Screw this, I'm done with this. I, 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 I can't deal with this anymore. I have to move on and move forward, okay? Don't let anything or anyone try to hold you back. Um, if you're dealing with someone, you know, this person, this individual, or, well, this energy, really doesn't want to see you move, move on. Doesn't want you to have a new beginning. Doesn't want you to head to calmer waters and to be on the right path or in the right place where you're meant to be, okay? Um, very low vibrational energy you're dealing with, okay? This is crowning you in your conscious mind and you are aware of this or you're constantly thinking about it. Six of Wands. So we've got the Six of Swords and the Six of Wands. That's moving to your victory, to your, towards your success. So yeah, you do want to 
You want to achieve this. Victory, success, being in the public eye. You know, to break free and to finally say, to call it a victory, literally, you know. This is to win a battle. And the best way to win a battle, Aries, sometimes is just by not engaging with it. Okay? So don't deal with this, just move on. And you will have success. I don't know why I have a feeling that some of you are dealing with an individual that, you know, it's as if once you do move on, move forward, detach from it, this person or situation or individual or individuals might think to themselves, you know, it's like, how dare Aries do this? How dare Aries just move on and leave me behind and ignore me? That's what you're meant to do here. That's what's challenging you the most. I think it's ignoring and not responding to anything, not, not, not chipping in, not giving your energy to this anymore, not feeding it anymore. Okay, and that's what you're meant to do. You're just meant to move on. And I think this is something that for the, you know, you've never done before. And this is going to be the big game changer in your life. And the person that you're leaving or whatever you're leaving behind is going to be in total. I think they're not going to know what to do. Uh, I think they're going to be very surprised. And it's going to shock them somehow. But I think that's part of the deal here. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you are meant to serve some type of karma by doing that. By putting yourself first and moving away. Okay, that's how you serve karma. That's how you deal justice. Okay. Below you subconscious mind you're not aware of and you should or you should pay more attention to this Knight of Pentacles. It's about not staying stagnant in a situation. Some of you, you know, you're meant to move forward. This is about, you know, you have to move. You have to start moving. Just don't stand there still looking at the horizon with that pentacle in your hand and just hoping or desiring for a new beginning or to, you know, trying to figure out where you can plant that new seed, that pentacle that you have in your hand. Six of Wands is crowning you and the Knight of Pentacles is behind you, I mean below you. Okay, both are on horses, you know, but this one's finally moving. So yeah, they're telling you it's time to move. It's time to, to start taking the first steps. Don't stay there standing, just staring at the horizon. You know, uh, Aries, when I see the Knight of Pentacles, I see an individual, a knight, with nice, shiny, and expensive armor. On a horse which is no ordinary horse, that's a stallion. That's like having a Ferrari today. Okay, I think they're telling you that you have more than what it, what you think you need. You have the tools, the skills, the knowledge to have a new beginning and to start moving. Okay, but you might not be seeing this. Uh, some of you might not be giving yourself the proper credit or enough credit to to move on and have this new victory okay this is the energy behind you recent past or the reason why you're going through this for once you're meant to be in a situation where everything is more okay okay um i'm sorry it's just this one crossed me immediately it's like, yes, it is that, but I have to address this. Well, it's, I guess it's the opposite. I see. You see, it's a recent past, where you're coming from or what you should be leaving behind. I also felt it on the reverse. And Four of Wands talks about harmony, okay? Being in a place where everything is, you know, it's beautiful, it's harmonious. But I guess you're coming from a place where maybe at some point it was that way, but it's no longer that way. You know, it's no longer harmonious. It's no longer. 
and you're meant to leave this behind because it's no longer meant for you. It's not balanced anymore. Okay? And the reason why you're meant to go through this is so that you can finally be in a place where you're meant to be in a place more like this, like this four of wands. More harmony, more balance, more, you know, it's like some of you are dealing with matters within a family or in a home where things are no longer, there's no equity. There's no equal give and take. There's no fairness, I see. And I guess some of you have to go through a situation where you have to probably sell a home, or split or divorce. Okay. But you're meant to, to head towards a better environment. It's like the real version of this. Where you're at, it's not the real thing. It's more like an illusion or like a... Let's just leave it as an illusion of what you're truly meant to be in or you are truly meant to have. Okay? This is in front of you where you're headed to or where you're meant to go to or near future six of of pentacles. So yeah, we've got three sixes here. And that is that's a lot of change. Oh no, two sixes. I'm sorry. no, yeah, three sixes. I'm sorry, six of swords, six of wands, and six of pentacles. That's a lot of changes here, Aries. Things are trying to um, balance out for you. You're meant to be in a place where there's more equal give and take, you see? more equity so yeah there it is you have to probably some of you you have to stop over giving or overspending your energy to a situation that is not even does not appreciate what you the effort effort that you have put into it okay but yes you're meant to be in a place where there's more equal give and take where things are more balanced more harmony interesting six three sixes changes and it all comes from that five where you're not meant to deal with this drama this lower vibrational energy anymore with this conflict with this bully this whatever Something that just keeps trying to push your buttons and keep you somehow stuck, probably even confused. Now, this is how you should see yourself or respond to a situation, to this situation. Page of Wands, you're meant to have a new beginning. You're meant to start walking. And you know what, Aries? That's your energy because this is fire energy. And Page of Wands talks about well, it's only a page, you know. That's starting fresh from zero. And you're meant to do this. And you shouldn't be afraid of starting all over again. Starting from the bottom up, starting from zero. You just have to open yourself to experience new beginnings, new journeys. To discover new things. And don't lose hope and faith. Don't lose the faith. Okay? Keep believing. It's very important that you do that. But you're meant to start walking down a new path. You're meant to start taking the first steps here. Okay? Like I said, don't be afraid to start all over again. Whatever you went through, it had to be to probably strip you down to the core and finally have a new beginning. Okay. This is the energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you, inspiring you, Three of Cups. 
You know, when I see this Three of Cups right now, I get this energy of, you know, it's just joy, fulfillment, happiness, learning how to appreciate life to the fullest. Oh, I get some of you are meant to be surrounded by higher vibrational energies, by people that are more of your kind, of your type, that think like you, that see things in life the, w the same way you do, or if not, they would help you raise your vibration. It's surrounding yourself, surrounding yourself by individuals with a higher vibration. That will help you a lot. Maybe you, you already have individuals or someone around you that is trying to or is helping you this way. But yeah, you're meant to surround yourself with soul tribe, your soul tribe. People of your of, of your kind of your type, you know, that will help you remember that there is a purpose in life, and that you, you should always see the joy in every every day of your life. Try to see, you know, to try to appreciate even the smallest things, the smallest details of every day of every day of your life. Even if you're not having the best day, days sometimes, you know, it's just about trying to do the best to live that day to the fullest. Okay? And it happens. Sometimes we just don't have the best days in our, in our lives, but, but we have to try to make the best out of them. And that's the type of energy that I think you want to have this around you where you're trying to be in this type of energy constantly very positive energy especially after what you've been dealing with right makes sense in your hopes and fears you got the three of pentacles and this talks immediately about it's the opposite of not being in the right situation you're tired of being in this situation where see there's three individuals here there's no harmony there seems to even be some type of criticizing judging questioning, pointing fingers, people telling you how you should do things or what you should be doing or asking you why you do specific things, you know, trying to make you feel bad for what you do. Not very appreciative for who you are or what you... Yeah, this is not being in the right environment. You see the darkness, there's no windows. They're not even, you know... This three is very different to that three, you know. Sometimes they say the three of pentacles is about working together, but, you know, something is off in this card, especially in your hopes and fears. Maybe you are hoping to be in an, envir in an environment where things would be more like that, right? This is the opposite of this. So, yeah. I think you're tired, Dylan. Or being in a situation or in a place where you just don't feel like you're part of it anymore. It's as if, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you have to get out of this. And you're meant to do something bigger, something better, something you're meant to shine somewhere else. On your own. And when I say on your own, it doesn't have to be forever. But at least for now, you have to break free and try to stay on your own for some time until you reach your independence, your self-confidence okay self-sufficiency outcome or advice, five of wands more conflict, more drama so yeah, you're meant to just ignore that don't deal with it anymore you're a fire sign, I know. Sometimes get, yeah, sometimes things get the best of you. Um, sometimes, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard for you to sometimes ignore things. But I think you're going to have to do your best here to not engage with it anymore. Because you can stay trapped doing, doing this, playing this stupid game constantly and not moving forward. When that's the, the heart of the matter of the reading is just, you know, it's time to start moving. And not even turn, turn back, not even look back. 
stop feeding to this energies or situations or whatever don't uh, interact with the conflict with the drama you are meant to raise your vibration here five of wands to the six of wands that's what you really want stay focused on that victory you want that victory you want that success the only way to get it is by ignoring everything and just start moving some of you have to start making big changes in your life if so you know understand that rome wasn't built in one day just take it one step at a time you're just starting off a new journey don't rush things maybe that's what they're also telling you here in your subconscious mind or below you okay don't rush things just start moving but okay because this, this is a big major change in your life and um, obviously you shouldn't rush things at all two of swords in the bottom of the deck it's about making a decision to take action okay you can stay stuck in this for quite some time it's time to do something about this it's time to take action Aries take the blindfold off see things for what they are be true to yourself and it's time to do something and don't let fear get the best of you a seven of cups uh, yeah your emotions uh, don't let anything try to manipulate you try to hold you back don't let your emotions get the best of you there's someone who knows what buttons to push to get certain reactions from you you're gonna have to be care more careful with that now okay be very emotionally strong and please yeah don't get distracted don't let other things um yeah don't let your emotions get the best of you keep your eyes on the prize keep your eyes on the prize okay then you get the sun leo energy you're meant to have this uh absolute joy in your life this happiness this uh abundance this is about starting new something new a new beginning a new life a rebirth a new opportunity for some of you okay you're being offered or you're being handed a new opportunity please open yourself to receive and start walking down this new path that you're being asked to walk upon okay um let's get additional messages advice or warnings from this other deck just in case i might be missing something i'll just see what else comes out then we'll close your ring with the dream i mean with the spirit of the animals oracle deck okay what other messages do you have for aries regarding this reading or situation please there's something else you need to tell aries what would it be please Thank you. What else do you have? Thank you. Oh, nice. What else for Aries, please? Thank you. Anything else? That's it. One, two, three, four cards. And on the bottom of the deck, I've got the Ace of Cups. Aries, it's time to put yourself first. To give yourself that self love, that self divine support. Okay? Don't be too hard on yourself. Take it easy small steps okay go through your healing start healing but uh, yeah it's time to put yourself first and 
and do things for your for yourself. Okay. All right. Okay. Nice. Beautiful. Okay. So the four cards. One of them um, fell right on top of the page of wands, and it's the Ace of Wands. So there you are. You're meant to have a new beginning. That's your energy, Aries. Okay. New beginnings. You have to be passionate, excited for this new beginning. Focus on this new beginning. Okay, keep your eyes on the prize. You are being handed a new opportunity. It's time. Okay. Go with the flow of things, eight of wands. Let things unfold the way, the way they're meant to. It's the winds of change. They're trying to come in for you. Trying to change to make this big change in your life go with the flow of things allow things to flow the way they're meant to okay knight of cups <laughs> start moving to something more emotionally fulfilling there's something better for you okay but it's just it's a matter of just start taking the first steps to it, okay? Don't stay stagnant like this other night. Just start moving. And then we got the World Card, which is the last of the Major Arcana, number 21, that just talks about completing a cycle, a big end, closing a big chapter in your life to have a new beginning, okay? And it's just not a passionate beginning, but it's... You know, I think this is a God-given right for some of you. It's something that has been, I guess, owed to you for some time already. I see. So yeah, you're closing a major cycle here in your life. Don't stay waiting to get proper closure or anything. You have to give yourself the proper closure, okay? But uh, it's time. Something's done here. It's time. Okay, let's uh, close your reading with a Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. And then uh, I'll let you go so you can have this new beginning. Okay. Remember that whatever message comes out of this deck, uh, it may or may not resonate with the reading in any way, shape, or form. Just take the message as additional advice that might help you later down your journey. And the animal that comes out, you know, it might mean something to you. So always keep an eye on the animal that will come out. You got the lion, which is a higher calling. And I got the sun card for you, which was Leo. Some of you might have Leo maybe in your charts. Well, that's a lot of fire energy still. So you have within you all the courage that you need. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. Let go of the past and reclaim, yeah, of your majesty. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. Yeah, you could break free from some environment where there's no there's no harmony. You're meant to be in a place where you're you know people more of your of your kind, of your type. Okay? So yeah, you will find success and contentment with those by your side. And make noble choices for your life and your tribe. You see, they they already said it's your tribe. So yeah, yeah, this is about reconnecting with the right people and leaving behind those who no longer serve any, you know, don't serve you any good. All right, Aries. Aries, I hope this reading helps you. 
and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And uh, if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave a comment. I would surely and truly appreciate it very much. And um, Aries, I hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, stay very blessed. Goodbye.